So economics and finance is a rigorous degree that combines elements of economics, finance, mathematics, statistics and computer science. And it prepares students really well for modern day financial markets that are very quickly evolving and there's a heavy emphasis on, on technology and quantitative methods. There's quite a significant mathematics and statistics element in the course. These skill sets are, are really valued in modern day financial markets. In year two, semester two, our students can take a semester abroad. So at the moment, our students go to universities in Australia, Canada and Singapore. And we hope to expand that in the future as well. Uh, the internship happens in stage three and our students go and they take an internship from September of that year to June, usually. It's an excellent opportunity for our students to get hands-on experience so in the final year, um, students take a number of core modules in economics and finance, but then they can go and focus on a finance stream, a mathematics and statistics stream, and an economic stream. So it really gives a nice amount of choice to students where they can concentrate in areas that they feel they have a real interest in. Typical week would be quite busy for Econ5 students. Um, they would each do six modules per semester and a lot of those modules would be for economics and finance students only so they're taught at quite a high standard and their lecturers expect a lot from them. They might be going to the data room to use our Bloomberg terminals to download data and run analysis on that data. Our students go into a wide range of careers um, investment banking where they often go to the major financial hubs such as London and New York. Our students work as portfolio managers, as traders, as economists. Students that have a real interest in economics and financial markets and are also very good at maths and want to have a wide range of possible careers that they can choose from. Such students should definitely think strongly about taking economics and finance.